Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I'm the Compliance Evangelist, and I'd like to welcome you to a five-part series I am running on the Bard and Compliance, How Shakespeare Informs Your Compliance Program. I recently completed the study of some works from Shakespeare from the Teaching Company. The Teaching Company is one of the top organizations in the United States which provides first-rate college professors lectures, both in audio and video, on a wide variety of subjects. So, for instance, on Shakespeare, Peter Saccio has Shakespeare, the Word, and the Action. Mark Connor has How to Read and Understand Shakespeare. And then one of my personal favorites, once again, Dr. Peter Saccio, Shakespeare, Comedies, Histories, and Tragedies. If you're a lifelong learner like I am, you will greatly enjoy The Teaching Company. You can check out all of The Teaching Company courses at theteachingcompany.com. In this special five-part series, we're going to take a look at Shakespeare's Problem Plays. We begin with All's Well That Ends Well and Compliance Resilience. And we go on to Troilus and Cressida and Farce in Compliance as Tragedy. In episode three, we take a look at Measure for Net Measure and Creating a Game Plan. In episode four, we consider A Winter's Tale and Terminating a Third Party. And finally, we conclude with Timon of Athens and the Men Mob. I know you will enjoy this series as much as I've enjoyed producing. This is Tom Fox. Shakespeare and Compliance is a special presentation of the Compliance Podcast Network. Today we conclude our special five-part podcast series on the Bard and Compliance, The Problem Plays, by looking at Shakespeare's play, Timon of Athens, and the issues involving freight forwarders, brokers, and agents in FCPA enforcement. Why is this a problem play? Well, first, it was the only play Shakespeare co-wrote. He co-wrote it with Thomas Middleton. Moreover, much about this play makes it seem unfinished, including unexplained plot developments, characters who appear unexplained and say little, and the two epitaphs. One commentator said this is a poor relation of major tragedies. And finally, it does not even appear to have been performed during Shakespeare's lifetime. The story of revolves around Timon, who is described as a kind and generous lord in Athens, who has many friends with whom he has showered multiple gifts. But because he showered these multiple gifts, he has fallen into debt when they abandon him. And they abandon him. He leaves the city and plots his revenge. Things get very sticky, ugly, and even bizarre as Timon plots his revenge. He funds the general Alcibiades to destroy Athens that has abandoned him and then pays two prostitutes to continue to ply their trade in the city and infect the city with venereal disease. To end it all, Alcibiades ends the play reading a bitter appetite, which Timon wrote for himself. The FCPA world is littered with cases involving freight forwarders, brokers, and agents in the shipping and express area. Both the Department of Justice and SEC have aggressively pursued third-party business relationships where bribery and corruption have been found. This is particularly true where companies were required to deliver goods into a foreign country through the assistance of a freight forwarder or express delivery service. There are several, several major risk points. These include location, customs and other government agencies, aviation and postal regulators, business promotion expenditures for government officials, Agents and sub-agents and government accounts are a major part of Express Shipper customers, so you must analyze these as well. How can a company respond to protect itself or at least reduce its FCPA risk, potential FCPA risk, in regards to a logistics company, freight forwarder, or Express delivery model? One way to do so is the creative tool dubbed the MIN model. James Lynn, the former vice president and global head of international trade for DHL in its legal department developed a risk matrix for freight forwarders express delivery industry. In this model, men analyzed risk by multiplying factors noted and thus scoring its course of forced ranking. This shows that location should not be the sole criteria for risk. The factors in the men model are the performance of your company's customs clearance brokers, and how far that performance varies from the norm of your company at your company normally receives. In his chart, one equals average, above and below, obviously, mean better or worse. 
The key in this approach is how often the customs broker and express delivery service varies above the average time for customer clearance times. If the percentage of customs clearance performance is so great that your vendor's performance is above 100% most of the time, that can be a red flag that bribery or corruption is involved. This should lead to further investigation, due diligence, or at least asking the questions of your vendor. Almost every business transaction engaged in by a freight forwarder, express delivery service, or customs broker outside the U.S. involves a foreign government official. Every time your company sends raw materials into or brings them out of a country, there is an interaction with a foreign government official in the form of a customs official. Every customs transaction involves a payment to a foreign government, and every transaction involves some form of foreign government regulatory process. While the individual payment per transaction can be small, the amount of the transactions can be quite high if a large volume of goods is being imported into a foreign country. Conversely, interacting with international tax authorities can present similar problems to those customs officials, but the stakes can often be much higher since taxation transactions may be less in frequency but higher in financial risk. These types of risks include the valuation of raw materials for VAT purposes before the materials are incorporated into a final product or the lack of segregation between goods to be sold on a foreign country's domestic market as opposed to those which may be shipped through a free trade zone free trade zone for sale outside the country's domestic market. Timon of Athens did not seem to have a process in mind when he gave away all his possessions. In the forest, he could only seethe with rage and contemplate the destruction of his former home, former city, and former friends. Creative use of risk ranking tools will go a long way in determining your own company's potential FCPA liability, but more importantly, it is one of the best risk management tools around. Always remember If you have a thoughtful process and document this process, this is what the Department of Justice and the Securities and Exchange Commission have said they want to see. They articulated this in the 2012 FCPA guidance and in each enforcement action going forward. They demand that you have a thoughtful process and document this process. This is Tom Fox. I hope you've enjoyed this special five-part series on the Bard and Compliance, Shakespeare's Problem Plays. I certainly enjoyed researching it and producing it for you. I hope you will come back for our next special series, which we will premiere next week. Also, the Compliance Podcast Network is always looking for new podcasts. So if you've ever wanted to do a podcast or have a network to podcast it on, the Compliance Podcast Network is certainly for you. I hope you've enjoyed this series, which has been a special presentation of the Compliance Podcast Network. 